Hello, and welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are going to be working on my Pokemon Go Dream Team. Now these are Pokemon that I have caught in Pokemon Go and that are at least three stars. They are my favorites, basically. <laughs> They're the ones that I use to battle most. Aside from Umbreon. Umbreon's just my baby. But we have Arcanine, we have um, Gardevoir, we have Rhyperior, we have Hydreigon, we have Riunculus, and we have Noivern. Now, I have been battling most, like, for the longest time with Rhyperior. Rhyperior is my baby because he is just a, a big old chunky guy. Oh wait, I don't even use Re Reuniclus in this because I replaced him with Unreon. Oops. Anyway, um, but my Rhyperior's name is Mr. Pineapple because he is yellow because he's shiny and he looks kind of like a grenade and a pineapple had a baby but he's he's a good boy he's a tank basically um, if you ignore that Firo freaking out in the corner um, this was done over on Twitch because I do most of my art on Twitch now because I have a, a stream schedule that is about three to four times a week. If you would like to see my schedule, join the Discord. There's a link to it down below. If you'd like to see me work in real time, join my Twitch. There's also a link to that down below. <laughs> Shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. Now, hello Porygon, uh, hello, and for, for Rhyperior, I just wanted him to look grumpy, because he always looks grumpy, and Gardevoir is, she's, she's a little lady, she's not as strong, but she packs a pretty nice punch. Now, of course, if if you have a Gardevoir that knows, I think, Synchronoise? No, that's Gallade. If you have a Gardevoir that knows Dazzling Gleam, I think, then they can be pretty tanky. But, Mine does not know yet Dazzling Gleam. Mine knows something else. I do not remember. I should know the shorter stuff, but I don't. But that's okay. Hydreigon was really fun to draw. Because you got to you got to do all three heads and uh the two smaller heads are less developed. I think I had the most trouble with Noivern because I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted Noivern to be standing up or laying down or like crouching or something. But in the end, I ended up making them like posing a little bit, which worked out pretty nicely. look like a Noivern. Good job, me. And then, of course, Arcanine. Arcanine was probably the easiest one to draw, because Arcanine is pretty close to what I draw normally, 
a lot of canines, a lot of felines. Just hanging out. An arcanine is that perfect combination of feline and canine. It's just a tiger dog. It's a tiger dog. And then we got Umbreon. So I have three shiny team members and three non-shiny team members. I've got shiny Umbreon, I've got shiny Rhyperior, and I've got shiny um, Arcanine. Forgot the name for a second. Oof. And then here is my trainer in Pokemon Go. I tried to make I tried to make him as accurate as possible. I think the only thing that I changed was the hair color because it reflects my actual hair color. Pavilion. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I, I think I skipped the first five minutes of inking before remembering that I wasn't recording. Because I do often stream other things other than art, so I won't record it and then I'll turn the recording on when I go to art. But I guess I forgot. But that's okay. It works out. I wanted to go for pretty thick line art. Because it's Pokemon. And Pokemon uses thick line art. And I do plan on making Pokemon fusions again. Uh, just to see how far I've come. And to do more Pokemon fusions, to be honest. They're fun. I'll have to use that new generator everybody's talking about. Rather than the one that I normally use. Because the new generator is more... Interesting? It's more creative than the other generator that I've used using. It, it, it combines Pokemon very well. As always, say hello to Willow. Willow is the white cat in the corner, and they are always there whenever I stream. They're there to greet people, they are there to dance, and there's a bunch of commands for them. Rapidash. Nice. Oh, the Pokemon flashing up on the screen. That's a game in Twitch called the Pokemon Community Game. It's very fun. You can catch Pokemon. I've not battled with them yet, but I just catch them all the time. But you can catch Pokemon on stream and collect them. And it's 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 fun. It's a fun thing. What am I doing? Trying to figure out what to ink and what not to ink so as not to waste my time since I drew everything and then erased a bunch of it because my character was in front of it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I really, really like the chunky line art. Pokemon looks really good in chunky, uh, chunky line art. They touch. It's Umbreon's turn now.
Umbreon is just a, an adorable little baby. Best evolution. Hands down. And I kept the design for my character pretty simple. It's basically just wearing what I have on in the game. And looking looking real chill. I'm not so great at shoes, I will admit that. It's uh it's a problem that I need to fix. I think I have to fix the arm next and then I will color it. Nope, I was getting references. I'll fix the arm later, I guess. Cuz I only have one arm. <laughs> Umbreon's best baby. I really want a shiny Gardevoir in the game, but I have yet to find another shiny Routes. And I already have a shiny Gallade, so I need another shiny Routes or Curlia. And I know that there was a an event for Noibat, like a community day, but I tried all day. No shinies. I was devastated. Because Noivern is one of my favorite uh, evolutions, but I was denied. How dare. Let me see. I think we're doing all the eyes. And then I do the arm. Yeah, arm. Just real simple. And now we do shading. I did really, really simple shading on this. real simple like cell shading sort of but it's soft so nothing at all like how Pokemon shades but it's how I shade so that's how it works I wanted to shade with purple and then do highlights in yellow, so I went with a almost burgundy purple. And as you can see, I'm just using an airbrush and an eraser for my for my shading. So it's it's very soft I 
I don't know how to pronounce that Pokemon. Alomomola? Maybe. I've never figured out how to pronounce it. But that's fine. Next is the highlighting. The highlighting was even simpler than the shading. Just touch here and there, and voila! I will admit, I went a little bit strong on the yellow, but it looks like they're in the sun. I just wanted to keep this really simple and just make a, a little a little dream team. And there we go. That is all that it is. It's just I don't know what I'm doing there. Probably something with the line art, yeah. Yes. And I wanted to thank you for watching my video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!